Well, good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. It is good to be with you all. It is July the 3rd, 2014, and it is the day before the 4th of July, and I have a great forecast for you all, folks. Temperatures are mild starting out this morning. It's 57 here in the Jasper Huntingburg area, 60 in Evansville here at 6 19 a.m. Eastern Time. Man, you gotta love this weather. Today's video update, by the way, is sponsored by Metal Magic in Washington. Give Chad a call at 698-8555 for all your paintless dent repair needs and tell them that Southern Indiana weather sent you. All right, crystal clear skies around the area right now for us as far as things are concerned. Uh, temperatures holding in the upper 50s to near the 60 degree mark. Can't beat that. No rain around either. Some of the models want to bring the very tiniest amount of a chance for rain, but I don't think we're going to see much of anything this morning. I think that's pretty much a, a take it out of the forecast and don't worry about it. I haven't even mentioned it in there. Uh, some of the models want to give us maybe a 10% shot at an isolated shower this morning. Uh, we'll see whether anything like that happens or not. All right, if you got travel plans this weekend, folks, they could be interrupted pretty significantly. We've got what has now become Hurricane Arthur down into the Gulf. Let me take off the radar here, and you can just see here's the enhanced infrared satellite. The brighter colors indicate those higher cloud tops. You can see it's it's a it's a monster down there. Let me take off the radar. Let me take off the satellite rather, and just lay on the radar, and you can see there's the center of the low spinning around right here. Let me put it into motion for you, and you can see how it uh, has been going on here. Now this is forecast, by the way. This is actually forecast to uh, uh, go sort of right up along the outer banks it's already a category one hurricane and you can see here uh, that it's going to hit essentially right on the outer banks as it goes out and uh, you know from there on it, it's going to go out and um, and move up but if you've got if you got plans along the gulf coast this weekend folks uh, you know we could be uh, we could definitely have some issues uh, with this so let me take that off for you here and um, there are some tropical storm warnings and hurricane warnings that have already uh, been issued here let me take you over here to um, the uh, national hurricane center's website here's where the arthur is currently located hurricane warnings here in blue tropical uh, tropical storm warnings in blue hurricane warnings here in red i can say sh i should say here um, hurricane warnings all the way up here along the Outer Banks, North Carolina. That looks like where it is going to make landfall. And uh, by the way, if it lands on these islands, it's still considered landfall, even though it's not here in the mainland. So, but again, you can see that with the track, it's it's essentially predicted to uh, uh, just sort of skirt those Outer Banks and then eventually move on. So. Uh, what effect will it have on our weather as far as everything is concerned? Well, what you can see here is that we've got pretty much crystal clear skies right now. We're going to stay partly cloudy today, and we're going to have crystal clear skies just about really for the next two or three days. Um, what you have when you have a major system like this is on the eastern, on the uh, western side of the system, it usually has much cooler and drier air with it, and that's exactly what we're experiencing. So uh, places like Atlanta and some other places are even going to experience some uh, relief from the extreme heat down there. And uh, you can think that to Arthur. It's going to be a mess if you're traveling along here on the uh, Gulf Coast, but uh, on, or not the Gulf Coast, I should say, but rather the Atlantic Coast. Uh, but for the rest of us, it's going to be pretty nice for us. All right. Future radar, nothing. Let me just go through this. Here we go through Thursday. It wants to hit, like I said, at the absolute tiniest amount of a shower. Not buying it. Maybe, but I'm not really buying into it. And then look at this. There's Arthur, by the way, sitting and spinning along the coast. Gone for us. Rain is gone. Let me show you Arthur down there again one more time. There he comes. The high resolution NAM, actually, uh, the center of the eye would be somewhere around in here. The high resolution NAM actually wants to make landfall uh, more rather than on the Outer Banks. It wants to make man landfall uh, more along the North Carolina coast here. Regardless, it looks like North Carolina is under the gun to hit with this, and it looks like it could be. Uh, a uh, pretty wicked storm for them. The good news is it's not going to be a Category 5. I think Category 1 is about as high as it's going to get. Right now, max winds are sustained at 75 miles per hour. Probably won't get up to maybe 100 at most, uh, the way things look right now. So that's that's a good thing for them. I don't think we're going to get up to a Cat 5 by any means here. Uh, but still, Cat 1 can do some serious damage. And if you've got vacation plans for the 4th of July over here along the coast, you need to examine those, uh, keep those weather advisories in mind to see whether or not anything will... Uh, 
need to be changed in your plans about that. But for us, crystal clear skies in the next few days, and it is great. All right, let's take a look at your plan today, forecast for today. Sponsored by For Heaven's Sake Gift Shop there in Ferdinand in the Monastery. 74 degrees here in Jasper for your high today. 75, Evansville, Tell City, Corden, Madison, Bedford, Vincennes, 74, 73 in Columbus. Again, partly cloudy skies. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous today. By the way, is this really July? I mean, look at these overnight lows we're looking at on the Smile Center Plan Your Night forecast. Down to 54 in Jasper for your low tonight. 55 in Tell City, Corden, Madison, 56 for your low in Evansville, 53, Vincennes, Bedford, 51 in Columbus. Columbus. That's flirting with the 40s. You may even get into the 40s as you get into northern, uh, central and portions of northern Indiana. I mean, is this really July when we're talking about temperatures like this? Enjoy the break while you can, folks, because the heat is coming back. If we go to southernindianaweather.com and we take a look at your seven-day forecast, yes, it's going to be gorgeous today. It's going to be gorgeous on Friday. Fourth of July, I'm forecasting mostly sunny skies and 78 degrees. Look at these overnight lows. Still very cool. You slightly warm up on Saturday back to the mid-80s, but then Sunday, you got the warm-up really starting to come on 86 by the way the muggy weather is going to return because that south wind's going to come back and that's going to pump that humidity in with it back to 90 by monday with scattered thunderstorms 86 and 88 tuesday and wednesday with scattered thunderstorms so you know enjoy this nice little break while we got it today it's nice and cool it feels great out there today but folks uh the rain and muggy weather will return eventually and it comes early next week so just enjoy this little brief reprieve while we get it fourth of july by the way looks absolutely great right now as i said and uh, if you're going to fireworks, the Dubois County Bombers, I know, have a game on uh, Friday night that you can go to. Most towns also have some sort of a fireworks display that you can go to. It looks great. I think temperatures are going to be in the low 70s to upper 60s by the time nightfall comes. So for the 4th of July and fireworks, you can't beat that. It's going to be a great night. Get out there and enjoy the weekend, folks, and stay safe. Hopefully you've got an early weekend planned because uh, this is going to be absolutely gorgeous weather. That is it for this edition of the video forecast, folks. Hope you have a great day, and we will see you next time. Take care. Stay safe.